Fun TV? I am ready, but let's take care of one thing first. All right, we're good to go, six feet. I just want to start by saying hello to all my Funko Fanatic family out there tonight. That means aloha, that means ni hao, that means mabuhai, that means sawadi ka krup. I think that's all I got. So anyway, Brian, Take it away. Wow, Funko fans, 2020, what can I say? It has been one crazy year. But I can tell you one thing, Funko misses you guys. We miss the Comic-Cons. We miss the interaction with our fans. And as you guys know, we wouldn't be here as a company without you guys. But we're just hoping that you're staying safe. Uh, and we can't wait to see you at whatever next event that is when the world gets back to normal. One thing that Funko does, I, we think better than anybody else, is just put smiles on people's faces by making things that we know you love and us as collectors love. And we miss that interaction, but this show is just one little way of saying, hey, guess what? We're still excited about the pop culture future. So let's, let's, let's bring a little joy to you guys right now. Let's show you some of the amazing things Funko is gonna make in 2020 and 2021. Let's take a look at some sneak previews, starting with McDonald's. Sneak, 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 sneak peek. So, Fanatics, you guys know I love sneak peeks. I love showing you guys what's, what's coming up. And this one this is big for us, man. I grew up on McDonald's. It's, it's taken a while to put this partnership together, and I know there's a lot of rumors on when we're ever going to come out with McDonald's pops. But here we go. Officer Mac. Mayor McCheese. These characters are beloved. It's, it's retro. It's grimace. What a way to start off our, our sneak peeks for this year. It's Hamburglar, it's Ronald McDonald. Ah. And we have a lot more coming too. This is, this is my childhood in a box and I'm so excited about bringing this to you guys. This is super cool. We have a limited edition shared exclusive with McDonald's and Funko Shop five pack, or you can buy these individually boxed. Anyways, coming very, very soon. Man, McDonald's pops, how cool is that? Fun, 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 fanatic. Shout out! Is this thing on? Oh, hey! I'm Ness. Coming to you live from Pacoima, California. Funko Hall of Famer number six. I just want to send some love to the United Funko family. And a special shout out to Josie Dowling, who I love so much. And Chris Bernardo, who I've known since the early days of Funko! Thanks to Funko, I've been able to express my inner nerd and share this passion with all the friends that I've made along the way. So thank you, Funko. Here's so many more years of laughs, smiles, and memorable experiences with my amazing Funko family. Cheers. Hi, my name is Tanner Hedges, I'm from Orlando, Florida, and my favorite Funko moment was at Freaky Tiki Fun Days 2019, when it was announced that Bat Boy would be the next Fantastic Plastic, and I was surrounded by some of my closest Funko family. I will always remember that night, and I'll always cherish that moment. Stay safe, everyone. Hello, fanatics. It's Lynette Grant or Ty Not on the boards. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy in these challenging times. 
The reason why I love Funko is because in times just like these, we find a way to stay connected over something that really is very positive. I have heard from so many of you during quarantine, whether it was just to reach out via social media or comment on a post. I cannot wait until we can get together again. But in the meantime, Funko means family. I'm looking forward to when we can all hang out again very soon. Hey gang, it's Crofty. A quote from A.A. Milne in Winnie the Pooh says, I knew when I met you an adventure was going to happen. I certainly never expected the fun co-adventure I was going to have when I first met this Booberry Bank back in 1999 and made by a company I'd never even heard of. My adventures continue with more toys than I could ever want and more friends than I could ever imagine. L.M. Montgomery, who wrote Anne of Green Gables, said, Kindred spirits are not so scarce as I used to think. It's splendid to find out there are so many of them in the world. So, kindred spirits, here's to friendship, Funko, and Funko family. Fun TV! Hey guys, we're back. Another sneak preview that I'm super excited about is our new collaboration, a Disneyland 65th anniversary pop line. The first one we're going to take a look at right now is all about one of my favorite rides in the park. The Matterhorn. We have a Matterhorn inspired pop line featuring a great Matterhorn bobsled, Donald Duck. We also have Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck in Matterhorn inspired gear and a really cute little Mickey Mouse bobsled keychain. The next thing that I can't wait to see in person is our Disneyland 65th anniversary train set. This is the first time we've ever done pop in a train format. Each character comes in their own little train car and it's super cute they hook together and this is the new line we're very very excited about so take a look at these these are fantastic the next thing we're going to take a peek at is a 65th anniversary alice in wonderland in the teacup ride with a special deco of both alice cheshire cat and an absolutely new teacup featuring the mad hatter man i am so excited about that disneyland 65th anniversary pop line. I can't wait for that to come out. But you know who also loves Disney and Disneyland? Our Funko employees. And they've recorded a couple great special messages for you, our fans. Guys, take it away. What's up, guys? This is David from Funko HQ here, boxing up some goodies for our sneak peek segment. Can't really show you what's inside right now, but you're going to love it. Hi Funko Fanatics, it's Alex here from Funko Europe. Um, I just wanted to say I hope you all have an amazing time at Funko Virtual Con 3.0. Uh, they've got some amazing guests lined up, so look out for them. And uh, have fun collecting. Bye. Hey Funko Fanatics, Hillary here from the Funko Marketing Team. And I just wanted to thank you guys so much for participating this week in our Funko Virtual Con. And you know, I know we haven't been able to see each other that much this year, but I really hope to see you guys next year. Thanks guys. <laughs> Hi Funko Fanatics, it's Saj from Funko Europe. I hope everyone is excited for this year's Virtual Comic Con and that you get the exclusive that you're after. Salut les Funko Fanatics, c'est Anne de chez Funko Europe. Je vous souhaite une excellente Virtual Com 2020 en espérant que vous trouverez toutes les exclus que vous cherchez. Merci pour votre fidélité et prenez soin de vous. Hey Funko fans, it's Jen Ryan. I'm the general manager here at Funko Hollywood. I'm so excited because we are back open to the public Wednesday through Sunday from 12 to 6. Let me show you something really cool. Right here, our Hollywood exclusive big boy. He is only available here in Hollywood. So I want you to come on in and come visit me soon. Bye guys. This is Liz reporting from Funko HQ located in Everett, Washington. I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Hope you're staying healthy and safe. And please keep shopping with us at shop.funko.com. Bye guys! Oh, 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 oh. Awards! Hey Mike, you know, each and every year for the last 18 years we've done an amazing award show for our fantastic fans. You know our company wouldn't be anywhere without our fans, so we're going to do it again this year, right? That's right. Let's start it right now with, I don't know, let's start with the Spirit Award. What do you say? Sounds great. Okay, well, that's someone that showed a lot of, well, spirit. Who won? Mike, using an award show, then an envelope comes out, and then you open it up, and there's a winner inside. Do we have one of those? Envelope! Oh, 
All right, Mike. Uh, the winner of the Spirit Award is Tanner Hedges, which is Pop Fanboy, and Julie Bowe, which is Yeet Grimes. Congratulations, guys, for our Spirit Award. God, wait. A, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. That's fantastic. What's the next award? Well, if memory serves, usually it's uh, Rookie of the Year. That's right, Rookie of the Year. That's a fanatic that burst onto the scene with some zeal and vim and vigor. Who won? Well, um, again, usually an envelope presents itself and there's a winner inside. Envelope! Okay, luckily I got that envelope and our winner is Tate McCarty, Space Dude, winner of Rookie of the Year. Way to go, Space Dude. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Space Dude, congratulations. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of other awards coming for this entire show. Just get ready. We've only just begun. Sounds great. Celebrity Shoutouts! Hey there, Funko fanatics! It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, wishing you a wonderful virtual con until the real thing is back. And until then, unpleasant dreams. Hey, Funko fanatics! It's me, Chris Hardwick. I'm so sorry we won't get to see each other in San Diego for Comic Con this year, but we have virtual Comic Con, so we're gonna make it work anyway. Listen, having a pop of myself is probably the greatest accomplishment of my life. I adore it. Uh, I was long a Funko fan before that even happened. I know the feeling of seeing one pop and going, well, yeah, of course I have to have Michael Myers. And what is that, Lando Calrissian? Sure, I need that too. And you know what, Madame Leota, that's amazing. What? Yes, I need Negan with Lucille. And He-Man and Battle Cat? Yes, I need that too. Along with Gizmo and um, Pickle Rick and Tiny Mr. Poopy Butthole Auctioneer, ooh wee. Uh, yeah, I need all four Golden Girls. I got Rose, I got Blanche, I got Sophia. Where the hell's my Dorothy? Dorothy's right here. So I just want to say, I so love and appreciate the community of Funko fans. I've gotten to meet so many of you and bond with you. Uh, I've bought pops, I've traded pops, um, and uh, I really look forward to seeing you next year in person. But for the time being, stay safe and stay healthy, and I hope to see you real soon. Yo, what's up, Funko fanatics? This is your boy, Walter Jones, also known as Zach, the original Black Ranger. Hey! Listen, I hope you guys are well. Sorry we missed you in San Diego this year. Next year, let's do it, all right? Stay healthy, stay happy, and have a more phenomenal day. Hey, what's up, Funko family? It is I, Gabriel Iglesias, that's right. Just here hanging out with my Funko. What? That's right, people, that's right. I am so excited to be part of the Funko family. That's right, I am a, a mother Funko like you. Get ready, number two's coming soon. Number two, that's right. He's got a second one. Fun TV! Hey Funko Fanatics, I know a lot of you guys love board games, love playing with your friends or your family, and now we are so excited to be in the board game business. It's been a year since Funko Games has been around, and they have created some amazing games. We'd love to take you on a little trip with Deirdre, our friend, to show you some sneak previews. Thanks, Brian. Hi, I'm Deirdre from Funko Games in Seattle, and we have been hard at work making so many amazing games for you guys. We've got some really cool ones dropping this summer. The first one I want to share with you is Back to the Future, Back in Time. Check it out. Wow, that looks so cool. Another game I want to share with you guys is hitting this summer, Godzilla Tokyo Clash. Check it out.
wow, I've got shivers just watching that. That game is incredible. And now for all you Funkoverse fans out there, we wanted to let you know that Game of Thrones Funkoverse just dropped and it is amazing. You're gonna to wanna to get your hands on this one. It's got a new four player free for all mode that you're gonna love. Fun TV! Hi, Skip Taylor here for Fun TV. I've got some breaking news about Funko Soda. It's refreshingly fun. Let's check it out, shall we? As you can see, there's a variety of different characters and flavors for everyone. Here we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo. To the naked eye, they look the same, don't they? Uh-uh, one glows in the dark. And here we have Chili Willy. His name is Willy, and as you can see from the Chase figure, he is surely chilly. <laughs> Here's Kiss. Yeah, okay, so rock and roll night and party every day, folks. That's always been my motto. So as you can see, there's something here for everyone. Chucky, Shredder, Booberry, Samurai Jack. So this is Skip Taylor signing off for fun t Oh, hold on a minute. <laughs> How about a sneak, sneak peek of more from Fun Go Soda? Hmm. First up, we have Batgirl. More from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo. Captain Crunchy's nemesis, John LaFoot. Don't forget about my personal favorite, Woody Woodpecker. It's refreshingly fun for the whole family. Skip Taylor for Fun TV, signing out. Funko Soda, refreshingly fun for the whole family. Comes in a variety of mouth-watering figures. Collect one or collect them all. Funko Soda is not a beverage. Collect responsibly. Everett, Washington. Fun, 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 fanatic shout out! I love Funko so much, I actually opened up a shop here in Sacramento, California. And as the saying goes, uh, come for the toys, stay for the people. Thanks, Funko. What's up, fanatics? Dave the Dork Knight here. I just wanted to thank Funko for giving us awesome collectibles that represent geeks of all kind. And also shout out to all the artists that breathe life into them. I have friends from everywhere. Australia, Thailand, Singapore, the Philippines, New York, I live in California. So being able to be able to meet individuals that I would never meet on the street means a lot to me. These people just aren't my friends, but they're my family. So I love Funko. Hey guys, it's Rev here, the star of Making Fun. Okay, they gave me a little extra part in the movie. Anyways, just want to say hi to all the fanatics out there. I'm missing all my Funko family. It's tough during these times. I hope everybody's being safe out there. Have a great day. What's up, Funko Fanatics? This is Nelson here from Fugitive Toys. Every year, I always look forward to fun days because Brian and Mike put on an amazing event. I'm going to miss all your beautiful faces this year, but most of all, this. I want to give a shout out to all the Funko family around the world. I'll see you guys at the next fun days. Stay healthy, stay safe, keep popping. Oh, hi, I'm Jason. You may know me as Swoboba Fett. I'm a Funko Hall of Famer, and I've been collecting Funko for nearly 20 years. And I'm hanging out with my buddy Bone Daddy, my first wacky wobbler from all those years ago. Now you're wondering, why are you dressed for Freaky Tiki Fun Days? That was last year. Well. You know the saying, dress for the fun that you want to be having. I think I may have gotten that saying slightly off, but I think it applies in this case. We should all dress for the fun that we want to have since we can't be there in person together. 
So, I miss my Funko family terribly tonight, but we'll see each other soon enough, and it'll seem like no time has passed at all. So until then, fun bays, stay safe out there, and I'll see you soon. Fun TV! Okay guys, we're back. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about Loungefly, our fashion division. It's everything pop culture, meets backpacks, wallets, purses, handbags, they're making really, really cool stuff. So to hear a little bit more about what's in the future for Loungefly, let's kick it over to Liz. Liz? Thanks, Brian. I'm super excited to be here today to give you guys a sneak peek of a couple items that we have coming this fall. So the first thing I wanna show you is our new Santa Jack Nightmare Before Christmas mini backpack. So he has a full faux fur beard and hat, and it's just one of the many pieces in our new NBC collection coming this fall. The second piece I'd like to show you is our full-size It Nylon backpack. So this backpack is actually available on loungefly.com right now, but what's really exciting is that we have a whole lineup of horror properties that are coming this fall. Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Universal Monsters, and lots more. We're really excited for you to see what's coming in horror because we know that our fans have been asking for it for a long time. The last backpack that I want to show you today is our Tiana backpack that's coming. So this collection we know our fans have been waiting for and breaking news, this mini backpack is just one of the collections we have coming for Tiana. There's actually a surprise second collection coming this year as well. So we're really excited to share that with you also. So those are a few accessories that we have, but in case you don't already know, Loungefly actually just released a new apparel collection. Stitch Shop by Loungefly is a new fan-driven apparel line, and I am wearing a piece from our new Marvel collection that will release this fall. This is the Loki dress, and it has lots of great details like Loki buttons and hidden embroideries, but it's a great subtle statement that you can make as a fan, and it has pockets. And look, it even coordinates with my Tiana bag. Speaking of coordination, not only do we have women's apparel, but coming this fall, we have men's apparel as well. Derek is here to model our low-key men's woven. As you can see, it has lots of fun details, hidden embroideries, so you can coordinate. And one of the coolest parts about Stitch Shop is that when you buy the apparel, each piece actually comes with an exclusive enamel pin that you can only get by buying that piece of clothing. So Derek is modeling this pin and we're really excited about this whole collection. Speaking of pins, do you mind if I take a moment to talk a little bit about pins? Sure, let's talk more about pins. Awesome. So, one amazing thing that happened this year was Loungefly partnered with Funko to release the brand new Pop Pins. I think the most amazing part of this venture was the fact that we were able to infuse many of the fabrics that we have in our bags, our faux leathers, our faux suede, and infuse them into some of the, the special pins. So, so far it's been great. This is a part of Ghostbusters gonna be wave two later this year. Another thing we're excited for has been our What's Happening Tuesdays. If you go to our website, every Tuesday at 9 a.m. PST, we have been launching limited edition, exclusive three inch enamel pins. All of our pins come with some sort of special type of aspect, whether it's movable, or it's light up, or it has something just unique about it. Not just an amazing pin, but look at the packaging. We spend a lot of time to make sure that the entire piece is a collectible piece. Yeah, so just a reminder, that's every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific on loungefly.com. So if you're a collector, make sure you're ready because they go really fast. Well guys, thanks so much for having us today. It was really fun to be here talking about new products that we have. But Liz, what? you couldn't tell me that you just made a whole Loki line. You have to have something else, right? What about the God of Thunder? What about Thor? <laughs> Somebody say Thor, God of Thunder? That's what I thought. <laughs> anyway, check it out. Very slimming. I like it. Hey. I dig what you're wearing. Okay guys, we're back. Now we're on to Paka Paka, our artist-inspired mini vinyl figure line. All the crazy ideas that are in their head, they get a chance to pitch to us, put it on paper, and eventually, hopefully, make this a, re a reality for them by putting this cool little vinyl figure line into production. This is stuff that they're very passionate about and excited about, so 
Let's go take a look at some Paka Paka. So here we go, guys. Boo Hollow, the latest line for Paka Paka. This one happens to be a cute, cute line by Reese O'Brien, one of our great artists. Uh, everything from glow-in-the-dark figures to chase pieces. They come in the amazing, cute little Paka Paka Boo Hollow ball. So this is Reese's take on what he thinks Halloween means. Somebody say Halloween. Hello, everybody. Right for Freddy here. Hey, Brian. Uh, Freddie, how you doing, my friend? How am I doing? How am I doing? You haven't called me since that gig at Fright Night. Brian. Please. Yeah, you're uh, smelling a little dusty, too, and a little bit musty. Well, you would be musty, too, if you've been in a box since 2016. Well, anyways, we, you certainly popped out at the right time. Uh, Halloween products and... Stop! Stop right there! Idea coming. Ready? Sure. Theme song! We need a theme song, okay? Hello! Ooh, scary. Oh, take that to your marketing team. So, I, I like your boo hollow. It reminds me of something. I'm not uh, sure just quite what. Uh, maybe relatives, maybe home. Oh, uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, Brian, let me just ask you one thing. Oh, please? Is that candy corn in your pants? Are you just happy to see me? It's a paka. Paka! <laughs> All right, Freddy. Good seeing you, my friend. What? That's the end? Okay, back in the box. So that was your chance to take a look at it for the first time ever. Boo Hollow, our latest line from Paka Paka. But we got tons more new Paka Paka coming your way. Paka Paka. Oh, 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 oh. Awards! All right, we're back. And you know what that means? Another awards segment. This one should be even bigger. What is it? Mike, it's a big award. It's our Collector of the Year. Ooh. Yeah, Collector of the Year. It doesn't get much bigger than that. So, uh, well, who won? Mike, as usual, I'm going to need an envelope with a winner inside. Okay. Envelope, envelope. And our winner is... Nico Lim from the Philippines. Nico on the board. Nico? Wow. Wow. This is really uh, unexpected. I just want to thank all my fellow fanatics here in the Philippines for the love and support they have given to the Philippines uh, Funko community. This recognition, this award, is not just for me, but for everyone here. Everyone from Funko Fanatic uh, Philippines. So congratulations. I would like to share this award to everyone of you guys. So, so, celebrity shoutouts. Well, hello, Funko Fanatics. Sam Jones, Flash Gordon here. And my friends, Mike, Brian, and the entire Funko family just wanted to say thank you. They appreciate all your years of loyalty. And my friend and I right here, it's the 40th anniversary of Flash Gordon, and we want to thank you too. So thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Funko Fanatics, it's me, Matt Cardona. And trust me, yeah, I wish I was at Comic-Con with all of you. It sucks that we're spending Comic-Con at home, but hey, let's be safe, let's be healthy, and next year, let's be ready. Let's be always ready like me. And let's get ready for Comic-Con next year. And maybe, maybe Funko will show off another one of these. I don't know why I just winked. I don't even know if they're going to. I mean, I hope they do. I hope. Whoever's watching, please. I'm begging. I need another Funko. Please. Thank you. What's up? It's Angelica Hale here. 
singer and runner-up from America's Got Talent. I heard you guys were having a virtual Comic-Con this year, and I'm sorry that you all couldn't have it uh, in person, but I still think it's a great thing that you're still able to have the virtual event from the safety of your own homes. <laughs> um, hopefully, we can all be together next year. I had so much fun last year. This is actually one of my favorite Funko dolls. I got this at the Funko booth, and trust me, plenty more. <laughs> um, but have a wonderful time, everyone, and I'll see you guys next time. Sneak, 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 sneak peek. Hey guys, let's take a look at another sneak peek. Yeah! Retro toys? Awesome. Let's go take a look. So one of the cool things to look forward to in 2020 and in 2021 is Funko's put together an amazing look at retro toys. This is stuff that, that everybody grew up with from different eras. I'm a huge toy geek. Seeing characters like G.I. Joe, Everybody from the 60s and 70s remembers Stretch Armstrong. This is the uh, rare chase piece with the super stretched out arms. Who didn't play uh, Operation when they were a kid? Anybody know what this, this character's name is? It's Cavity Sam. Glowworm, Mr. Potato Head. So how about a sneak, sneak peek of what Wave 2 is gonna look like for our retro toy program? Classic Transformers. I know our fans have been asking for this for years. We're showing you guys a sneak peek of uh, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime, but expect more classic Transformers over the next couple years. Mr. Monopoly, okay, we've seen him before, but not as uh, the get out of jail card and not with the second prize tuxedo. Clue, one of my favorite games coming up. Popples, a great toy line from the past. And Mrs. Potato Head and Furby. And this is just the beginning of what's gonna be a year long celebration of some of the most amazing iconic retro toys that were ever made. Fun TV! Oh, well hello there, I didn't see you. Sir Marco Beckinsworth here. I'm just here in my study doing some research about Funko fanatics around the globe. It's like the whole world to you and me. Anyway, I've come across some interesting chaps that I just bet you'd be dying to meet. Let's take a look, shall we? Hey, I'm Baza. Greetings from Brazil. Funko makes me feel so young. Hi, my name is Pra from Thailand. My favorite Funko moment would be Fun Day, where everyone and all fanatics all over the world gather together to party and listening to Brian announcing what's coming up in the next year. Too bad we won't be having Fun Day this year, but I'm so looking forward to the year 2021. Bye! Hello, I'm Polly. I want to thank you for the Hi everyone, Mabuhai. This is Trixie all the way from the Philippines. I just wanted to say hi to all Funko fanatics around the world and hope you are all doing well. Hope to see you all soon. Bye for now. Mabuhay fanatics! Ako pala sa Ipin. I'm Lynn. Sheila. JC. Tagapuli Port Collectibles ng Pilipinas. Pag napadaan kayo dito, bisitahin nyo naman kami. Salamat Funko! Hola familia Funko, mi nombre es Rachel Sueta de Tijuana, Baja California, México. Uh, just wanted to say hi, hope that everyone is doing 
great. I want to give a shout out to my friends, the Knights of Funko, uh, to the Fun Club and the Funko Fanatics from Baja and from Mexico. Uh, the Fanatics in Mexico, we really appreciate what Funko does. We really love the product. We really love the community. And we feel that uh, we all have this spirit of always having fun. So thank you, thank you so, so much, Funko. Well, that completes our journey for today, boys and girls. Now let me make an announcement about an announcement that we... Let's just watch this, shall we? Introducing my new Jack in the Box Funko Pop. It's adorable, it's super, it's amazing. It's the greatest collectible I've ever made. Even better than my classic antenna ball topper. Why you? Ah, kidding! So here it is in person, guys. You know we love ad icons. We love that line. And here it is. Jack from Jack in the Box. Out of the box for the first time in person. Ah. So Celebrity shout outs. Hey Funko fam, Brandon the Truth Bearer here, and I just wanted to say my favorite part about being a Funko fanatic is the fact that anybody that you meet that is a Funko fan is like family instantly. Thank you guys, see you soon. Funko fanatics, we'll be together soon. Hugs. <laughs> Funko fanatics, this is Luke Spiller here from the Struts, and I wanted to say a quick hello from myself and the rest of the guys. Um, the Funko community has been something which has been really dear to our hearts. And I hope you guys are all doing really well. Remember to stay safe and hopefully I'll get to see you all live very, very soon. And I'll be happy to sign a couple of more of these bad boys. How cool is this? Uh, I remember when I first got officially popped, I think I was in Japan backstage about to go on, if I remember correctly. I'm on. Hi, baby. You want me to open this up? Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, yes. Wow! I want one too! I want one! I also want one! <laughs> uh, it will take centre stage on my mum and dad's piano back at home. You can be cool! You can be shy! Say what you like! Say what you like! Cause ooh, your body's hot! Your body's hot! Ooh, ooh, your body's hot! Sneak! 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 Peek! Okay guys, let's take a look at another sneak peek. Guys, on this sneak peek, we're gonna over-index on Q. I'm a huge Pixar fan. The aliens from Toy Stories are some of my favorite characters. And Disney's allowed us to come up with this amazing collaboration between taking the aliens and some of the greatest Pixar characters over the last two decades of movies. This stuff is so cute. Everybody from Doug from Up, Ooh. Russell, ah. Buzz Lightyear, ah. Zerg. Oh, we have a great mystery mini set. And my favorite is this amazing 10 inch Woody Pop. Ah. This line's coming out this year. We're super excited about it. And like I said, an absolute overdose on cuteness. Fun TV! Mabuhai, Philippine Funko fanatic family, you're in for a real treat. I got my shirt on, I'm ready to go. You know why? Because we're going to show you a very special unboxing for the very first time. I'm really excited about this one. Check it out. Hey, what's up? Joe Coy. I'm in LA. I'm in my house. I'm being safe. Wearing my mask when I need to go out. But when I'm inside, I look for things to make me happy. And guess what? Today, something made me very happy because I got this in the mail. <laughs> Funko Pop? Joe Coy? Exclusive? Are you kidding me? Number four, baby. Funko Pop. What does it look like? Let's see. 
Let's take it out. Let's see if it looks like me, if it dresses like me, if it swags like me, if it acts like me. Let's see. Let's see. This is ridiculous. It looks just like me. It's the same outfit I wore on Coming In Hot, you guys. I got that specially made from the ghetto to the Getty jacket. I mean, this is the coolest one ever made. I'm being biased, of course. Funko, you killed this one. You guys can pre-order this ASAP. July 25th, pre-sale starts. Funko Pop, Joe Foy exclusive. Get it while supplies last. There's hardly any available. I'm just saying. You might want to get these before they run out. Funko. Funko Pop. Funko Pop. Funko Pop! Oh, 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 oh. Awards! So, Mike, we're back. Our finale, our big awards crescendo, Hall of Fame, the big, the big boys, the, 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 the granddaddies of them all. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. Let's all start. Right. The Hall of Fame inductees for 2020, right? Absolutely. Why don't you give us the first winner? Hall of Fame inductee number 76, Kevin Nguyen. That's Kevin Tree. Congratulations, Kevin. Number 77, our big winner, Gene Cox. That's Mean Gene. Congratulations, Gene. Hall of Fame inductee number 78, Lauren Salmonson. Wanakens. Number 79, I'm going to try to use my hands as much on this one as Mike does every time he talks. Josh Thompson, the Josh 210. Congratulations, Josh. Hall of Fame inductee number 80, oh, Gavin Ng. That, of course, is Zach Hogg. And finally, our last inductee this year, longtime member, Chris Bernardo, bobblehead freak. Congratulations, Chris. There you have it. That's our Hall of Fame inductees for 2020. Congratulations, gang. Congratulations, guys. Our last award of the evening is a really special award. Matter of fact, it's so special, we've only given it twice. It's our Lifetime Achievement Award, and it goes to somebody that embodies the fabric of what it truly means to be a Funko fanatic collector. And this year, the Lifetime Achievement Award goes to... Are you finished, Mike? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for building that suspense. Our winner this year is... Crofty. Congratulations, Crofty. Funko. Oh, oh my God, I love you so much. It is amazing how much happiness you can pack into such a tiny little box. And you've done it for so long, and I'm so glad that I am a part of your world. I'm so glad you're in mine. I love you, Funko. Congratulations, Crofty, for that award, man. You are everything that embodies a Funko fanatic. A lot of you guys have seen Crofty in the movie Making Fun. It was on Netflix, the Funko documentary. And a lot of you guys have been asking, hey, how do I see this again? It's not on Netflix. Well, we got the answer for you. We're putting out a limited edition in a steel case, DVD, Blu-ray, and digital download. And it might even be boxed with a mystery pop. It's coming soon. We're really excited about it. So look for it soon. Fun, 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 fanatic shout out. Hello, fellow Funko fanatics. Funko Hall of Famer number one, Tim Perovich here. I've been here since the beginning, and after 20 plus years, I have a world-class Wacky Wobbler collection and tons of Funko stories. Congratulations to this year's Hall of Fame inductees, and everyone stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye. Hello, this is Christine. This is Maruha. We're here from San Diego. And we're very happy to be part of the Funko family. Through Funko, we met new friends. And... Funko Fanatics people, yay! Thank you, Funko! <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Snack Daddy coming at you from Snackland here in sunny Glendale, Arizona. My favorite Funko feel-good moment is anytime I get to talk Funko with a fellow Funko fanatic or a Funko collector or just anyone who's into pop culture. That just makes me happy uh, from the bottom of my heart. I hope everyone out there is uh, staying safe, staying healthy, and I miss all you guys. Uh, we should be at Fun Days right now 
outside Manchester, Grand Hy Hyatt, in the sun, sweating, hoping to get inside, but we're not. But it's okay. Things will go back to normal. Miss you guys. Shout out to the Hall of Famers. Shout out to the Funko board members. See you guys soon. Peace. Hey guys, I'm Lucky. I'm Christina, this is Scarlett. And we're the Mad Poppin' Crew here in Brea, California. So Funko has always been a huge part of our lives and we love the sense of community and nostalgia that it creates. One of our favorite moments was experiencing Funko Ween in 2016. Everyone had the best time ever and such good vibes. Yeah, that was really cool. We have way too many memories to share, but uh, not enough time. But maybe next time. Until then, stay safe, everybody. Scarlett, say bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Look at us. My favorite thing about Funko Family is the fact that we're diverse. We are not only Funko collectors, but we are artists and gamers and fashion designers and musicians and adventurers, which is totally awesome. And without Funko, I probably would have never met these amazingly talented and supportive people. So thank you Funko for bringing what are now my closest friends to my life. Hey everyone, uh, Chris Bernardo here from Sacramento, California. Been a Funko fanatic since 1998. And two of the reasons why I love Funko, first off, are the great products. This is one of my favorite pops right now. The Fanta Clown Pop, I just love the retro vibe uh, to it. And then obviously the second thing I love about Funko is the Funko family. Um, being a fanatic since 1998, met so many wonderful people um, with Funko. So again, those are the two reasons why I love Funko. Hey Funko fanatics, this is Mike Chickenhead from Phoenix, Arizona. I just wanted to say hi to all the fanatics around the world, especially the fanatics here in Arizona, and hoping everybody's having a fun day. Fun TV! Fellow fanatics, I know we we're supposed to be at Fun Days, but it's been one heck of a crazy year. But you know what? We are so far ahead of the curve for planning next year's fun days. You want a little sneak peek? Let's take a look. <laughs> All right. <laughs> out of shape Mike you okay no Brian that's just good acting <laughs> all right you know what's going on for next year a big big fun days let's get right to it we have four amazing teams competing in Olympiad style fun days event let's take a look at the first team Funko Force oh, that's right the shield of honor the sword of justice stay the course with Funko Force any team that wants to tangle with this twister should worry, because they go by the name of Fanatic Fury. It's high noon, and aces are wild. This group of outlaws is known as the Pop Rangers. Lude, crude, with an attitude. These rockin' rebels are known as the Proto-Punks. And one last surprise addition, two amazing sportscasters for the Funko Games Becker and Mariotti. So that's your sneak peek at next year's fun days, folks. Get ready. Which team will you be on? C C Celebrity shout out. What's up, Funko fanatics? This is Ming Chen from Comic Book Men, aka Super Ming. Just want to urge you guys to keep the fun going, keep collecting fanatics for life. Hey, Funko fanatics. Kirk Hammett from Metallica here. Hope you're enjoying Funko's Virtual Con 2020. As a fellow collector, it's been great being popped by Funko and looking forward to rocking it again with you guys in 2021. All right, Funko fanatics, I think that's just about all the time we have left for today. So if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And from everybody at Funko, we miss you guys. Stay safe, and we hope that Fun TV brought you just a little bit of happiness tonight. We'll see you later.